Hello, and welcome back to Monster Hunter Sunbreak. Today I'm doing more advanced quests. One of which I'm going to do with the Charge Blade as practice. Because it seems like Lucent Narcacuga, if I want an element, is uh, ice is the best element. So, I'll use it for this quest. It's not the best for Malzano, but it's not nothing, so it should work, but I think the hunt's going to go pretty rough because of Lucent Nargakuga. Just sort of, it's just a rough monster. I'm confusing myself for no reason. I shall strike down all but it shouldn't be too bad. I've only hunted it with the switch axe though, so I really don't know how this will go. But it's time to just get it going. It's not asleep, but I can take this chance to grab the spider and the sleep toad. Excuse me. Couldn't get out of range of the roar. I pushed the entirely wrong button. Thanks for the support. I don't know why I pushed X to attack. I mean, it's obviously because of some other game. I don't know what game in particular, though, has X. How did that not shield? Has X to attack. I don't get how that didn't shield it. Shouldn't have gone that direction. Should have gone to the right. I'll just commit to this. Hey, that was my controller. Like, not a totally unreasonable, but like, I shifted my thumb up slightly on my controller, and that dropped the button. So the button stopped being pushed because of it. Because I shifted my thumb slightly. I have no idea what openings to go for the hopper or anything are Any last one? yeah like that's clearly not an opening it's up to something. this is where it spins does this give time Face my fury. uh yeah that's a good damage it gives enough time to that should have hit me Get me up in the air? Not. Black. It probably did get me high enough. I just was in the line with his swipe. Or its swipe. Oh, this isn't hazard though. Hazard is kind of rough by comparison. Because it has different uh, poison attacks. And its poison rain attacks are some of the most obnoxious. I still find the poison rain annoying, but it 
it's not the worst attack, and the hazard version is much more annoying in terms of the poison rain. Can I do this? Nope. Very fortunate for the Nargakuga that it hopped away. I shouldn't go for those attacks when I don't actually have a good opening. I should learn what a good opening is, but I just don't have quite enough patience. Remember what I taught you. I hate tail up in the air. I got the charge, which is what I was hoping for. Probably can't do this. Yep. I mean, the damage is still good. That's acceptable to me. What I should be doing is... Oh, it's this one, okay. I really should be swapping um, between my switch skills. Uh. Okay, that was acceptable. It wasn't great. Because if I switched between the switch skills, I would be able to use the counter charge attack that I don't know the name of. This t why is this tail so f high in the air? I mean, I know why. And the reason is because of angles on the floor, but like... I really don't know if you would actively raise, like, support your tail in the air if you're currently flinched on the ground. Might be an opening? Nope. That should have punished me more. Ah. I don't know if there was a real warning that this would was about to happen. I kinda wish there was. I mean, let them fight each other a bit. Just keep the Malzeno between the two, and it will work pretty well. Nargakuga is really big. Let me hit this. I hate the lock-on. The lock-on almost doomed me. This should be enough to kill. Yeah, it kind of has... Like, despite being a big 
monster. It kind of has one of the worst mounted uh, Wyvern Ride movesets. Like, there are a few that are worse, but... Actually, I'm gonna... I'm gonna greed. Nope. Of course it targets me in the one scenario where I really don't want it to. Like, normally it's like, oh, half the time it targets other random people, but no, here it's gonna focus me 100%. Ah. Got paralyzed, that's fortunate. Really don't want to waste the items. Or the hearts. Worth it if I get hit. I have a bad habit. I need to better, um, no. That one, if it has a guard point, it's right by the start. I go for this. I didn't lose my files at least. That doesn't do very good damage on this guy. So he's very much not weak to ice. He, it's like a 15-10. It's like it, it is still some ice damage. But it's not a lot of ice damage. That's one of the annoying attacks where it's just a like, slight like step forward bite. No charge, that's fine. Probably shouldn't go for this. That worked out really well. And if I was actually good at this game, that I could almost say that was intentional. I mean, there was a certain amount of hope after I started that I'd be able to go over the attack that, start, that it started, but I had no way of knowing that I'd be able to when I started the attack, so... My biggest issue with this attack is, you can't recover, but he doesn't actually punish you, so it's just a waste of time. Like, the damage taken is obviously... not ideal. But... It's like roars. Like, any roar that doesn't punish you is just a waste of time. Except on, like, dual blades, because then it... the roar interrupts your... Demon mode, so you have to re engage. That's at least kind of something. Like, basically, every other attack like that, there's no actual consequence. It's just a waste of time. Which, like, yes, time is a mechanic that matters, but not on the scale that's delayed. Because, like, losing two seconds, three seconds here and there isn't going to make you fail the hunt, probably. That's very satisfying. Yeah. Yeah. 
Nope, that does not have a very long guard, if it has any at all. might be overdoing the double swipe. I don't know if it's... Like it feels like it's the best file charge attack, but I might be wrong about that. Like it might not be worth the potential additional file charge, because it might be better to get the like shield hits in order to get the, like, explosion effects. Some humans could learn from you. Uh, let's put it here. Place the bomb. Time for a week ready to detonate. Okay, I really need to figure out the distance. I really don't know the distance properly here. This feels good. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, unsurprisingly, Roar. I actually did it, nice. Like, what I should be doing is... doing my best to get the counter to get the files easily. That was fortunate. I'm just gonna stick around. It's like, switching this, get the counter peak performance, switch back, axe hopper to easily trigger the elemental discharge. Seems like a good, a better plan than just sitting on the axe hopper skill. I'm gonna get rid of the air dash because it seems pretty bad. I just remembered. So, you wanna head out soon? But that was easy. I kind of I don't know. The hazard monsters mostly felt different. Like, I think I read that advanced have more HP and stuff, but this was not, you didn't, I didn't really feel it here because it's two monsters. So you don't really get a feeling of, oh, one of these has more HP because they don't because they're reduced because there's multiple monsters. Huh. Laughably easy. Yeah, actually. I mean, Malzeno is just kind of anticlimactic as always. Coming back from Primordial. Yeah, 16 minutes. Like, it's very quick, but... Almost Master Rank 140. If the next hunt takes, like, 16 minutes as well, I'll probably do that right away. But if it doesn't, then I won't. So. This is a dragon scenario, I think. It's either dragon or fire. If it's fire, I use I can use dual blades. That's for variety. Dual blades are simple though. Like chaotic gore, at least the default form shown here is weak to fire. Before it's weak to dragon. Yeah, yeah. I say overall it's weaker to fire. And then Malzeno is weak to dragon. And then a little bit of fire. Which really means that I should use the Switch Axe, because that's about the only appropriate dragon weapon I have. I don't think I have a fire charge blade that I can make with element. Yeah, I could buy Afflicted Scales, and then I could make that, but I don't like it. It aesthetically is not very pleasing. That would be pretty good. I would consider that if I had the hard horn but I don't. I have five mantles? Wow. Bring on the 
I also need to look at dragon, not just fire. I would make this one. Except it's impact, so I wouldn't. That's... something. I mean, it's very much a raw weapon. There's a little bit of poison. I could use it later, maybe. Yeah, I can't make the... I do like... that. Yeah, that looks decent. 48 for level 4 slot element file. Seems pretty decent. Though the affinity is less useful for element. Because the explosions don't... You can't crit with explosions, or the um, file explosions, I believe. Ooh, 55 dragon, that's pretty good. And the negative affinity is less of an issue because of the file explosions, I think. Which also, I really should be more element focused instead of crit focused. I wish that was element file. Oh, it's not terrible. 60 drag, 60 element, one 340 attack. That's pretty good. And and it is element file. Whereas this one's 28. Yeah, I guess I will go. I'll switch axe instead of dual blade. Mostly because wait did I did I not use anything? Other than the buff, attack buffs. I mean, 60 affinity is pretty nice. Yeah. I haven't used this slightly modified setup in a while, much yet. I still don't have a slot there. The slight modification whereby I have a little bit more safety with evade window. I still haven't actually tried to use evade window actively. There's a lot of things here that I could get to level three or four. Two levels of Kushala's Blessing seems kind of bad. Two levels of Rapid Morph. There's a lot of stuff I could improve. Wait, do I not have... I don't have my Morph. Oh, because I don't have the level... Fo I don't have this one because it's overkill. Because I, I get two levels from the Talisman. So much that could be better about this setup. I mean, this recovery is doing absolutely nothing because I don't have level three of um, the blessing, Kushala's blessing, so it's worthless. I might leave it anyway because I'm lazy, and I'll eventually try to improve it. This is what I need. I need the I need the dragon decorations. Like, I really need this. Afflicted bones. One of these. And four afflicted bones. Is it efficient? No, I'm going to buy them anyway. If I have enough. I don't have enough for four afflicted bones, probably. Oh, nice. Afflicted bones are 10 price. are priced at 10, not 10 price. This might be a slight upgrade over what I had just now. Get rid of the recovery jewel that's doing nothing. Put a level three in here.
Put a level 2 in here. And get full dragon attack. For 20% dragon attack and plus 4. It's not terrible. Um, then I can replace these two. That are just giving me water ice, which is useless. With... I already have max speed sharpen. Satiated is not bad. That's my other wisdom talisman, right? Nope, I do have it equipped. No, yeah, okay. I'm just confused. I'll probably... Uh... Save... Oh, wait. I've never actually tried wire step. I probably don't even care about trying it, honestly. Because Soaring Wyvern Blade is just kind of nice to have. The Compressed Finishing Discharge as an alternate option might be worth having available. And I actually need to save that. I'm getting sidetracked. I need to fight these monsters. I need to pick the quest. I do that every time because I always forget to not- I always forget whether I did it or not. Okay. Actually, I want to see what my dragon element is at. So 20% and 4. Does it go plus 4 and then plus 20% or does it do the 20% first? But, 62 dragon element is pretty good. I'm happy with it. 777 seven, seven defense is pretty fun. Oh, I've hunted Chaotic Gore a bunch, so I'm probably going to do Malzeno first. Or no, let's drag the Malzeno to the Gore, and then whichever one doesn't run away, I hunt. Because I can drag through 6, pick up a red there. Have them fight each other. Kind of wish the stink mink was just throw it at them instead of wait for it to take effect. Because the wait for it to take effect is pretty annoying. Because it seems to always take effect, but. It would be so much simpler if it's just throw it at them, they chase you, and you can miss. Like, you're not- you're probably not gonna miss much, but you can. Or you could. Okay, please climb that. Now is the time to buff. I wonder which one should win in a fight. Well, I guess Malzeno's like a, an elder dragon, and Chaotic Gore is a failed elder dragon, so Malzeno should win. Definitely Primordial would win. But normal Malzeno. I assume would also win. It's one of the worst wyvern rides though. It only hits for like 400 at most and it doesn't co seem to combo into 
anything with the strong attacks. Like the pullback strong attack hits once and doesn't seem to combo. I need to get the Mounted Punisher, that's the most important part. So this should be fighting Chaotic Gore first. I haven't fought Chaotic Gore in a little bit, but... Oh, it ran. That's a lot of parasites. Oh, uh, I guess I'll go for... Oh, uh, I guess I'll go for Chaotic Gore first. Because I just said that I would hunt it first. But... Kind of wish... It was different. You know what? This specific setup, I should definitely have put... Ooh, yeah, yeah, that's a lot of damage. Two level one jewels in, uh, for the dragon instead of a level two. Because the two level one jewels would have been a better investment than two satiated. And then I theoretically could have put a better level four decoration. I forgot about that part. I hate Roars. Like they're one of the biggest waste of time mechanics in the game. And it would help a lot if the monsters punished you after they roared. More often, at least. That's a lot of damage. Uh, focus the tail. I'm not gonna be able to hit the tail, am I? I should definitely do this. Ah, but I'm in a wall, so it instantly fails. Why is it asleep already? Like, I have one sleep inducing. I can't hit its face. I have one sleep inducing pet. With, like, one weapon that is sleep inducing. Yeah, it didn't work. And, like, I guess. They could have used a... oh, lovely. I couldn't see that explosion about to occur because of how the visuals work. Ah, of course the one that I was hunting is the one that leaves and not the other one. Quite annoying. Then that ding ding sound I think suggests that one of my followers or my pets tried to do something which was just a waste of time. I don't remember this attack. I mean that was not worth it. Gotta get the free charge up. I hate... I really should just have diversion on every single set. 
every set I use should have diversion so that it's less likely for him to randomly target the dogs for no reason. Because it's so much more confusing when one of the dogs gets targeted. Destroy the tower, please. As always, a time-wasting bomb. Do something. I don't know the timing on that. Stop following me, Malzano! What is wrong with you? Why are they both going to the exact same spot? Like... It's just bad luck. And it's obnoxious bad luck because it's not really that, like, impactful. It's just annoying. Learning how to use that properly is very beneficial. I'm gonna get hit and die. Yep. How though? Maybe I missed it. I thought it was above the um, one shot range, but maybe I dropped below it and that was actually a double hit. Like I figured I was gonna die, but I thought it was above the yellow. Revive my trusty weapon. I might not have been paying enough attention. I'm definitely gonna check that. As always, they move when you don't want them to. As always, monster roars are a waste of time. Yeah, as always, not targeting me, so I can't do anything about it. For this exact, for the exact reason of counters, I kind of hope stuff changes a bit in the next game. Should focus the tail. There's been a lot of fun trailers for Wilds that I'm kind of looking forward to. The focus mode attack by the greatsword looks pretty bad not like bad gameplay wise it just doesn't look great it just looks very oh yeah that does half my health it just looks very um low impact what why do they want to stick with the chaotic gore they all just want to hang out with chaotic gormagala for some reason Haha. Ha. Get exploded. Which is actually unfortunate because now it's going to take too long to stand up. And the Espinus might leave before it can be turned into a Wyvern ride. Yep. It's actually the worst possible scenario for that context. Kind of 
funny everything. We almost got it. It's severely wounded. It's severely wounded, but it can run away at high speeds. As always. But it doesn't go to sleep. It just goes there to sit. Is it eating something at least? Okay, good. At least it's eating something. That hit somehow. It's kind of interesting. I have a Vade Extender. But I'm not like... The evade there didn't evade the roar. Which either means the evade extender doesn't extend it by all that much. Or it doesn't help with roars. Which is kind of interesting. Just beat up the corpse. still need to check that cart. That cart felt weird. Because I was pretty sure I was above yellow. But if I wasn't, then Let us move. Not quite sharp I need to, I don't know, pay more attention. Make it short for sure, kids. Your technique is flawless. This is a very small Malzano. I wonder if it's minimum size. Probably not. Just coincidence wise. I was a mm, quarter of a second late. I need to break the... Oh, I won't be able to because it moved. I'm going to get frenzied. Which is annoying. Wait, does it actually freeze the frenzy? Because it doesn't look like it's making much progress. That would be convenient to learn. If a bit late to learn it, but I don't know. Cause it doesn't look like it's increasing. But it could be some like... Yeah, I don't think it was increasing. Which is weird if it wasn't, because why would there be an exception like that? It's like, oh yeah, if you're wyvern riding, your frenzy doesn't gale. It just stays untouched. Somehow that missed the arm. Get hit. Thanks for the support. The classic healing after you already heal, mostly. Do you like the music? Quite nice. I think it's a bit overdone because you're fighting the monster a bunch like if this was the first time fighting it it would be great oh okay nope no, never target me target utsushi okay let me hit the tail i've been getting ma many tail cuts recently probably because of effects of whatever scaling exists but ah yes the classic i press it I get hit instantly, and the wire bug still gets used, which is reasonable. Uh, 
I probably should have gotten hit there. Oh, now it's gonna be a nightmare. So much harder to hit the monster that you want to hit when it's constantly being shifted around. I wonder if that... T I mean, it's not, but it'd be pretty fun if Taystar Fury was a Rajang-specific line when he's riding a Rajang. It would have to be a Furious Rajang for it to really be appropriate, but... I'm not gonna wait. Oh, it didn't even... I thought it was asleep. Yeah, this hunt and the pre preparation for it took too long, so I'm definitely not doing the Master Rank 140 today. Do something. Ah, that still somehow worked. No idea how that worked. Get me to the wings. Thank you. It's fun to fight normal Malzano occasionally, but multiple times in a row is a bit repetitive. I imagine these advanced quests came out a bit more um, spaced out than I'm playing them. And they're really more about finishing them and not using them to grind. So I bet on release, it was a little bit less repetitive of something with a Malzeno, something with a Malzeno, something with a Malzeno. And given that Primordial Malzeno was the last monster released, you probably, although maybe maybe it was Hazard Primordial. I thought it was, I'm pretty sure it's Normal Primordial that was the last thing released, but maybe I'm wrong. But considering you wouldn't have fought Primordial before doing, or you in theory, you might not have, you wouldn't have fought Primordial because it didn't exist. Means it wouldn't be quite as anticlimactic of a fight because this is the strongest Primordial variant, I believe. And it's not just kind of a weaker version. And you wouldn't have Primordial Armor, which makes it a little bit simpler at least. I mean, I mean, it easier, but... I mean, this is not like it's an optimal setup. And at this point, you would be able to have a... Oh, what's the skill? The Curio Draining Your HP skill. You could have a setup based on that and it would do a lot of damage, and it might be better than this if you were good. So... Oh wait, obviously not. I don't know why, I, for some reason, I thought the explosion dealt damage. There's zero reason to think that, because it's, it's never done damage in this... Like, this monster doesn't do damage by exploding on the teleport. Saved by the dog. Oops, he deserved. This healing is a big part of what makes it so simple. Though you do get a lot of healing from the blood blight, though. So not just that. It's just, a, a lot of it is that. Um, somehow that got the face. That was funky. Three eighty-nine. Is that forty more attack than normal? 
which would be from the Mega Demon Drug and Blood Awakening, maybe? I'm trying to figure out what Blood Awakening meaningfully does. I don't know. I don't know the numbers on it. Just taking a break. Hmm? Yeah, like these rude, meaningless comments. You don't need to say just taking a break when they're actively carving. Like, come on. At least set it up so the followers are like, hey, you're actively carving the monster. Don't comment on how they're doing nothing. But they just do it based on movement, I assume. Oops. Oops. Nope. Too slow. We can always expect the best out of you. So instead, I lose like five Excellent. seconds of my life in that little cutscene. Probably more like three, but as always, good luck. It should be 140 now. That's good. I'll do whatever dialogue. Ah, no, I'll leave the dialogue for next time. This should be Teostra, is my guess. Like, who else could it be? You're sure to find a box. Well done. I've never had a ticket. To see you again I don't know soon. what the tickets are. Actually, maybe I should talk to this guy. Maybe he has something to give me. Probably nothing here, right? Yeah. Just all the millions of event quests. So many event quests. Yeah. If it's Teostra, then given Kushaladora, Camellios, Teostra, water would be the best, then ice. But saying that, I'm going to do Risen and Elder Dragons with the Switch Axe first because it's safer. Because I'm relatively more confident. So I do actually have a setup for that. Okay, that's what I'll use. This one. Which can probably be improved by replacing this. Level 2 stream, level 1 defense. Defense stream. So there's stream jewels that I need to replace somehow. If I swap... So... There's levels of water attack that will, I will need to replace. But if I go with this. Satiated will sit there for now. Um, swap this for that. Use this for a level 2 decoration. I can get level 3 iron shell though, which is actually good. That's 10% water attack. I probably ditch... Uh, Why am I at? Yeah, I just need two levels of water attack right now, so... Abandon evasion, because I don't really care. It didn't feel like it did anything in the last couple hunts. 60 water attack, pretty good affinity. 20 less defense, not a big issue. I'm one level short of critical eye. The elements all look critical element, water attack. I should have at least one level of... Yeah, two levels of element exploit. So I just need to change... Some decorations. I am I okay? I can, I can switch this for the third expert jewel. I mean, that's a terrible setup. I should have a water decoration that I can't craft, but I should have. This a level three and a level two instead of multiple level twos. Well, actually, 
It should be a level 3 and a level 1, given that I have one level of water attack from something. What's giving me water? a uh, one level of water attack? These are giving me five levels, which means they must have one level... Yeah, they have one level innate from the augment to get the two to a four. Which I think is functional. It's fine. It's not ideal, but it, it works for this exact setup. So level three and a level one would be better. Uh, would it be? I don't really have level one slots to spare because the iron shell gives a lot. That iron shell is very valuable. So it's actually probably not that much better. Yeah, this will be my set up to fight Teostro for the first fight. And then I'll fight it again with something else. I don't think I actually have any other water set. Like, I don't have that. Don't have water. Don't have water. Oops. The only water is this, and that's not fully upgraded, and it's not an element file. So I'd probably just use ice and try this instead. This should be fine. I'll update the loadout. And this should work. Next time it will be Risen, presumably Teostra. Who else could it be other than Teostra? I know there's... So, this is 140. I know there's more until 180. I know there's Volstrax and Shigaru Magala. I don't know if there could even possibly be anything else. So it might be 140s Teostra, 160s Volstrax, one, or yeah, 160, 180 is Shigaru Magala. And honestly, post Shigaru Magala, there's not real. I mean, there's afflicted versions of the Risen Dragons that I probably want to try to get to eventually. But the grind to that will be such a slog, I feel. Cause it's some I think it's in the over 200 anomaly, and that's going to be kind of a pain. But that will be a concern for the future. And I hope it goes well in for future me, if I do it. But yeah, it'll be a new Risen next time. So have a nice day.